Hey guys, my name is Gia and I'm a vegan bodybuilder. <laughs> uh, I'm not a professional YouTuber, I don't create videos on a regular cadence, but when I do qu get questions that are too long for me to answer on Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, I do create YouTube videos. <laughs> so uh, I can't, <laughs> I'm a one man show here, I can't show you my legs easily. But anywho, I have very prominent quads, <laughs> and so I think. Because of that, people get really curious to know about what I do for my legs. Um, so what I want to do today, guys, is just kind of walk you through some of the exercises that I do. I've filmed a couple of videos um, specifically for this video, um, but I also may just take some of the exercises that I post on Instagram and, um, and talk through them with you. I may try to figure out how to loop an exercise until I finish explaining so you guys can keep looking at it um, while I ex explain what I'm doing. Um, when Before I show you any of these exercises guys, one of the most important things to do or a few of the most important things to do is to remember you always have to warm up. Warm up your muscles. Those those legs are big muscles. They need to be warm so that the um, blood can easily flow through the, the muscle fibers and the oxygen can go into your muscles. Um, make sure you're doing any dynamic stretching and may, make sure that you start off with lighter weights. The last thing you want to do is pull a muscle because you tried too hard too soon. Um, and the other important thing that I want you guys to think about is mind-muscle connection. So when I work out, you guys will see that I usually have a really mean mug on my face. Uh, that's because I'm mean. <laughs> no, that's because uh, I am zoning out and I'm actually physically or trying to visualize my muscles at work. Um, I use a hashtag called hashtag gorilla inspired and so sometimes I actually even visualize myself as a gorilla <laughs> doing let's say my squats or something but I do have a heavy focus on making sure that I can feel my muscles um, participate in the exercise and actually feel them burning um, anywho this might be too long already <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, this is gonna be a hodgepodge of stuff in the video so I do hope, hope it's helpful guys if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, hit me up on Instagram or put it in the comments below. Um, if you like this style of video, if you think this is helpful, give the video a thumbs up, like up, I don't know. Um, and just let me know that ju just let me know that this is the kind of stuff that's helpful for you guys. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Before you start any workout, guys, always start with a jog, some sort of cardio, 5-10 minutes to start warming up your muscles. And I'm also a really big fan of dynamic stretching. So instead of you're sitting on the floor and doing a static stretch, dynamic stretching for me helps to really loosen up the muscles, get blood flowing, and make me feel like I'm doing a more effective stretch. Here I'm just kicking back and forth. At this point, I'd actually been pretty stretched out already, so that's why I'm going pretty quickly. I encourage you guys to always go uh, slower than what I'm doing here. Sorry, I'm not being a good example. But besides going back and forth, you can also do side to side. Another important thing to do for any workout that you're doing is to do muscle activation. Here I'm using my Fit Girl band, I'll link it down below, to activate my glutes. Kicking to the side and kicking to the back starts to put blood into my glutes, um, giving me a really good glute day. <laughs> Beyond glutes, guys, for any muscle group that you work out, always activate your muscles and it could be in the form of just taking much lighter weight than you normally would do for an exercise so for example maybe if you were gonna squat a hundred pounds on a bar start with just the bar itself 45 pounds 35 pounds and only for a few reps until you get you feel those muscles going here's another activation that I like split squats. I like to do my split squats with a little bit of a wider stance and the reason being is I can feel it more stretching and in my inner thighs. Now I'm just doing air squats. So air squats are just a good way to make sure that your glutes, your quads are all getting activated and that my 
my core is working and it's doing its stability thing. So now let's get into some workouts. The dumbbell goblet squat. If you're using a heavier weight, put the weight on a bench first. When I'm, when I'm doing a goblet squat, I think about my torso being a pole and my neck being part of that pole, always keeping my torso and my neck aligned. What I'm focusing on here is keeping my feet flat on the ground. I am doing a very controlled movement, going parallel to the ground, keeping my butt back, my torso straight. That dumbbell is pressed against my body. I'm not holding it out. That will cause injury if I do. Uh, and you can see that I was squeezing at the top. This next exercise is barbell hip thrusts. You can do this with dumbbells as well. The idea is to get your knees above your ankles and really engaging your core, your glutes, your hams, your quads, your calves, your entire body to have a controlled motion of pushing up with your legs and your glutes. Keeping your core completely tight and your back activated and your abs activated throughout the whole movement. You can try to see that I'm also trying to keep my neck completely aligned with my spine through the entire movement. Always start with lighter weight, guys. Deadlifts. The first set of deadlifts I'm doing here is with a dumbbell. Uh, the reason that I'm showing this is because uh, I think people fail to re recognize that sometimes you can do deadlifts without that barbell especially when all of the squat racks are taken and all the barbells are taken. When I'm lifting it from the floor, guys, I am visualizing my back as a pole uh, and making sure that I'm lifting with my core tight and am pushing up already with my legs. My legs are activated even before I start my first rep. Looking at a side shot really quickly, I wanted to show you guys this angle because I want you to see that my back and my neck are keeping straight the whole time and that I'm squeezing my glutes. I try to use shirts that kind of show off my gut so that you can see that I'm not squeezing my gut in but rather I'm pushing it out and keeping my abs flexed through the whole time, therefore protecting my back. Leg press. Here I think I could have done a lighter weight so that I could have let that leg press go down just a little bit deeper. But regardless, I think beyond that my form was okay. The idea of the leg press, guys, is to push the plate away with your heels. Even while you're laying back like this, your abs should be activated, your spine should be straight, your butt should not be lifting from that seat. Leg extensions. Leg extensions are a really great exercise. Um, with leg, leg extensions, it is so important, in my opinion, to really focus on your tempo. It doesn't matter how heavy you go, and just as long as you can feel those quads get activated. At one point, I was so tired that I was only doing leg extensions at 60 pounds, but because I was keeping my tempo really slow, my quads were on fire. Thank you for watching. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. I hope that video was helpful. If you have any questions, um, any thoughts, put in the comments below. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. Um, you guys are so amazing. Uh, keep doing what you're doing with regards to your workouts and your fitness and help. I hope that I can provide you some insight. Um, and if you uh, want to see other things, any other topics, any other exercises you want to talk about, veganism or my body building experience, put in the comments below. Let me know. Um, thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Oh, and if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. There's a notification bell somewhere. Ding, 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 ding. I don't know where it is, but you can hit it. All right. Peace out. <laughs>